Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It's still Thursday, July 19th, 2018. I am still the drunk poker, and it's still beer time. It's still Collective Arts Beer St. Port Bomb Beer Mail time. We're working our way backwards, sort of, through the ABVs. Uh, next up, it's been a good day. Like, really good day. Like, really, like, I've had two beers, and they've been fantastic. And the fact that they were, you know, Beer St. Gifts, even better. It warms the subcockles of an old poke's heart. From Collective Arts and Indiana's 18th Street Brewery comes Pina Colada, sour ale brewed with pineapple puree, <laughs> toasted coconut, and lactose. So literally everything Mrs. Polk will not drink in one beer might be my favorite one. Although, to be honest, she hates citrus. So pretty much everything I've got in that pack is all for me. Let's get into this. I've been having fun with these. Uh, I'm interested in this one now because... Pineapple, coconut, lactose. I mean, I got my hat on. I'm ready. I'm ready. I just got out of the pool, so I'm feeling good. I might go back in the pool. Dinner's still an hour, hour and a half away. Oh, I smell that pineapple. Pineapple's the big dominant note here. Maybe a little coconut in there in the back, but uh, cheers to, you know, Liquid Arts Fest, which is probably how a lot of these happened, and also to Collective Arts for being my hometown heroes, the OG Crack Brewery and the Hammer. I do like getting caught in the rain. I do have more than half a brain. I do like pina coladas. Um, wow, okay, that's interesting. Now there's wheat in here too. Uh, oats in there to give it that, that kind of a, a thicker texture. Definitely sour pineapple right up front. Uh, that's, let's get that out of the way. Do you like sour pineapple? You're good. But, but, there is definitely this kind of coconut presence on the back there is this milky texture that gives it kind of that feel of the pina colada. Now, I'm going to tell you something. When we go down south, and we haven't been a lot, maybe four or five times over the course of, you know, 20 years. This Polk and I have been together. We've been down to the Caribbean a couple of times. Um, I usually start off drinking whatever crappy macro lager they have. But then about halfway through the week, two, three days in, I'm always like, you know what? I'm on vacation. I would never order these drinks in real life. But I'm going to start drinking all these fruity, weird, icy pina coladas, Bahama Mamas, chocolate monkey. I don't care. This kind of reminds me of that. It's a little bit fun. It's certainly not going to be for everybody. There's definitely that weird coconutty flavor to it that reminds me of... Oh, and I always Coconut always reminds me of Bounty Bars. It doesn't matter what context. Like, this is a sour beer, pineapple, coconut, lactose, definitely. But I'm always reminded of Bounty Bars, which I love. I don't have enough. Man. Okay. That's a fun one. I think this one's going to be a little bit challenging for some people um but if you like sours if you like coconut i think you're gonna appreciate this one i do i like it it's fun this is probably the fun beer out of the four to have because it's the kind of most off the charts and well sometimes that actually makes a poke smile cheers my friends we'll be back we got one more a berliner vice coming up but uh for now if you like pina coladas oh this is gonna be a good night Cheers. <laughs> 